Hey, what's going on YouTube? Johnny Grooms here, and today we're going to be talking about male baldness. And why we go bald. According to WebMD, I know WebMD is a very good trusted source of medical information, that's what I'm going with. About 85% of men will have major hair thinning by the age of 50. Some guys start to lose their hair before they turn 21. Some hair loss myths. Wearing hats, combing, brushing, hairstyles, these things do not make you go bald. Although if you're a smoker, smoking is clearly linked to male baldness. So if you want a good reason to quit smoking, look at the top of your head and say, do I like my hair as it is? If you do, stop smoking. What causes male baldness? The most common cause is a genetic trait that comes from your parents. Thanks mom and dad. Other causes include medication, too much vitamin A, or not enough protein, or illness and stress. They all contribute to losing your hair. Although, illness and stress is a temporary thing. If you lose your hair from illness or stress, you're pretty much going to grow that hair back. So it's not a permanent hair loss. That's not really balding. There's medications that help slow down the process of hair loss, but there is no cure for male baldness. Sad to say. I myself am a victim of male baldness. I'm bald by choice. I do, on the top back here, have started to lose my hair. So before I go full George Costanza, I decided I'm shaving my head. If I'm going to be bald, I'm going to be bald on my own terms. I'm going to make my look the way I want it. So, the question is, what I'm trying to answer in this video today is, do over-the-counter hair growth shampoos work? I picked up Good Guy Hair Growth Shampoo. I've been using it now for about a couple days. I gotta say the scent is very pleasant. It's a very good mint um, shampoo. I've been putting it on my scalp. I haven't shaved my head in a couple days because I want to see if I'm gonna have a fuller head of hair or is my bald spot gonna start sprouting out new hairs. I want to see if these over-the-counter shampoos work. Is the hype real? I'm leaning towards no, because if these things work, nobody would be bald. But for the purposes of science and to educate, saving you some money, and to see if these products actually work, I am willing to grow out my hair, continue using the good guy hair growth shampoo and after three weeks let's see how much hair grows in the back of my head this is where my bald spot is right here this is where it lies i have hair everywhere else but it's really thin on top so the question is will hair growth shampoo work i looked at the rogaine i looked at other shampoos but their side effects were bad like i didn't like the the, the side effects that they had I'm going to post a picture right here of Rogaine's and the Good Guys hair treatment products. Just to show you that it's a medication that they're, they're, they're trying to put um, on your head. And the amount of chemicals and the side effects on them are, are just not worth it. So I went with a more natural uh, way. There was biotin and collagen shampoo also, but it wasn't really geared towards growing new hair. It was kind of, that is for if you want your existing hair to be fuller and thicker. Me not having any existing hair on the top of this bald spot right here, um, or on, on my head in general, I decided not to go that route and go with a hair regrowth shampoo. And the ingredients for this is, you know, as pretty natural as they can be. For a shampoo like this, there's a lot of words here I can't pronounce, so obviously it's not all natural, but it has more natural ingredients than, let's say, Rogaine and the other hair growth treatment product. 
For instance, Rogaine's, Rogaine alone, the side effects include, I'm reading off the screen here, the side effects include severe scalp irritation, unwanted growth of facial hair, chest pains, fast heartbeat, swelling in your hands or feet, and weight gain. A lightheaded feeling you may pass out, headache, dizziness, confusion, wouldn't want to put myself through any of that. I mean, you can use it and nothing can happen to you and you can grow hair or you can have severe scalp irritation and gain weight and have swelling hands and, you know, chest pains. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't try it. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't go that route, you know, and the other, as you can, as you see, the other product, I'll put the picture right up again. It's pretty much the same exact chemical. So I would definitely stay away from any of these kind of hair regrowth products that have these kind of side effects. If you want to try something to try to combat your genetics that are happening to you, go as natural as possible. Get a product that's rich with iron, biotin, vitamin A, zinc, Eat foods that have high amounts of amino acids in them. A good source of food with a lot of amino acids is cottage cheese, fish, eggs, and seeds. Nuts, whole grains, and some meats, they all have good amount of good amounts of amino acids in them. This goes back to like my last video I was saying about the five foods that help you grow your beard. That kind of goes into the foods that really help promote, you know, hair growth, not only just for the beard. It'll work for the top of your head. I mean, it's a natural way to get all your essentials in for uh, for hair health and hair regrowth. Plenty of sleep and exercise is really good. Keeps your stress levels down. When you work out, you get those endorphins going. You get, you're in a better mood. You're in a better place. So your stress levels are not that high. All these things help you out. You know, they, they help you out from losing your hair. They help you in keeping what you got and just being overall more healthy. In the end, you can't really fight genetics. There is no cure for male baldness. You can just keep what you have in your head, prolong it, take care of it, nourish it. We're gonna try the hair regrowth. We're gonna see if this works. I doubt it, but I will come back to you in three weeks and we'll touch upon this product again. If you like the contents of the video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.